All right, we are live, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to American Grit this wonderful Thursday afternoon. Mm. We have you guys a great, great gift on air today. It's Warrior Cry, right? Warrior Cry, and and we're like, I'm not going to talk about them. They're going to talk about them, Mikey. Yeah. They're they're your friends, actually, right? Yeah, like, I you the, know these guys. Well, I'm, I'm, I met them at the Grunt Style Social, actually, yeah. and they told me about the program, and I was like, dude, we got to get you on American Grid. I want to blow your story up, yeah, and talk about this organization because it's really, really awesome. It's Warrior Cry Music, guys. Yeah. Welcome to the show. How are yeah. you? Thank, Thank you so much. So we yeah, have man. we have Will and Christian, correct? correct. That's right. And, yeah. and Will, you're a veteran of the United States Army, right? That's right. And and Christian, you're a patriot, correct? Oh, I'm definitely a patriot. All right. Yeah. So tell us tell us how it got started and when it got started. While you guys are doing that, I'm going to smash the share button. You guys get it out there, smash it. Let's get these guys some clout out there. Let's get them out. Let's get them out there in the uh, in the awesome. Facebook world. I'll let yeah. you get it started, and I'll jump in when I took part of it. So, Warrior Cry Music Project was established um, sometime before 2013. Um, we've expanded to over 20 bases around the country, and um, basically what we do is we organize a bunch of volunteer musicians, and we get all the instruments and things that we need for the program, and we work alongside of uh, music th therapists and occupational therapists, um, you know, just to, just to give the music program um, uh, to the veterans that might need it. Say they're, they're not into doing like the uh, horse or the canoes things, you know, um, they like music. So we're here for them. It's awesome. Standing. Man. Yeah. And that's, and that's, that's, if you've been watching the Thursday show for a while now, you know, our theme is all about people that are doing good things in the community, adding what we call tools to the toolboxes. Not that these guys are tools or anything, but tools to help you guys get through with, I mean, Mikey's a tool. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but he's a cool tool. He's a useful tool. I'm a useful uh, tool. He's a useful tool. Yeah. Uh, but that's been our whole theme this whole time. Like we've done, we've done a bunch of different organizations. Awesome. All they do is give back to the community. And we try to make a pretty like concentrated effort to make sure that the organizations that we host are really legit as far as like how their financials are you know we don't sure. want to end up like promoting a company you know an organization that <clears throat> doesn't really you know send their money a lot of you know that kind of thing correct want, might have private jets and things have, like that and, and you yeah, know, yeah really the cool nice thing about your guys is, is that it is a hundred percent nonprofit. like oh, there's, there, there's no money going into your guys's pocket at all it's no. all going straight back to the veteran community which Correct. is just awesome right. you know and yeah it's really up to us you know we've got these guys and these ladies coming back and there are superheroes and me being a civilian myself i had to find a point to give back sure you know and what i learned was music i know how to play the guitar and then robert henny our founder he mm -hmm. came across me just jamming out one time and he was like hey can you uh, you know plug me into the music scene and get this thing going and from there, um, it, like I say, it doesn't. Music doesn't only change our veterans' lives. Yeah. It's changed my life. Uh, it's made my life better. You know, just to give back and have your, I call it an epiphany. You know, because I was doing it for me, me, me. It's like maybe I can do this and get some press for my band and everything. And then yeah. that, that moment came in. I had my veteran come in. He's like, "Oh man, check this out. I learned G A and D, and it's there. It's stuck." And I'm just like, "That that made my heart grow three sizes." You know, just like yeah. the Grinch. So yeah, that awesome. changed my life, and I love my veterans, and mm -hmm. I'm there for them no matter what they need. That's you so know, cool. Yeah. The thing that I love about this is it's very accessible for anybody and everybody. I mean, like, sure. we've done a couple of things, you know, golf, maybe, like, with Fairway for Warriors, maybe golf isn't your thing. Um, you know, yeah. we've done Reforged where you build knives, maybe, you know, hammering away, hammering away on steel isn't your thing. Yeah, sure. But I think there's not a single person that hasn't at some point in their life been touched by music, whether music right. they so play it, whether they sing in the shower off key yeah. or in the car off key, yeah. or they sing in Ikea to embarrass their girlfriend, you know, whatever, <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever it is, I think everybody has, has a, a very solid connection to music and it's a very powerful force in our yes. lives. And so what y'all do that the others don't do is y'all are a lot more accessible, not because they're bad or whatever, but because I can't think of a single person in my entire life that I've ever met that says, I don't listen to any music whatsoever at all. I've right. never met somebody right. that said yeah. that, not Everybody once. Everybody likes music. Everybody you know, likes some universal... sort of music. There's something right. for everybody there. Yeah, so, so the fact that it's that accessible, I, I think that that contributes a lot to y'all's success and y'all are y'all sure. are extremely successful you're you're in how many bases right now uh definitely over 20 i think somewhere between 20 and 23 okay. uh, uh, uh 23 26 
But mm -hmm. um, we uh, were out in uh, uh, Walter Reed, yeah. and I got to go and visit the program out there at the NICO mm -hmm. building. It just nice. totally opened my eyes, opened my mind. Um, we got to go to a few bases, uh, just being a civilian. Mm -hmm. Those are just amazing things to experience. Yeah. And it, it ingrained me into uh, wanting to do more for what mm -hmm. we can do. Um, and this guy, we're locally, we have a program at uh, Bamsey. Okay. And um, so they can schedule you an appointment. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Thursdays at 2. Okay. And that's where I met this guy. Yeah. And, you know, he came into the program one of these days and he kind of sat in the back. And he was like, hey, you know, um, I, I really want to kind of do something. And I was like, well, yeah, let's get together, with, you know, we'll do something. And so we started with uh, working on writing songs. Mm -hmm. um, we got him into, you know, some technology so we can record stuff. So if you look at uh, his, the album One for the Falling Guitars and Scars, mm -hmm. that's where you're going to see, like, he learned how yeah, to Mikey has a, Mikey has a shirt, I believe. I'm going to hold that up. Right hey. Little yeah. One for the Falling shirt. These guys exactly. are nice enough to hook me up with. But yeah, we, we I worked with him. Again, you know, what I do is music. Yeah. And so I was able to teach him how to write the lyrics, how to put the lyrics to music, mm -hmm. um, how to record it, how to use the mixer, how to, you know, in, in, and do use the DAW. So he's learned all sorts of things mm -hmm. um, through the program. So it's not just, you know, pick up a guitar and, and jam out. We, yeah. can, we can do keyboards, we can do drums. So it, whatever inspires you, mm -hmm. we're going to find someone who can teach you. Yeah. Well, like and then, yeah, because y'all were talking about it before. Like y'all teach everything. You've had people that want, you know maybe they're not into rock. They want to learn the violin, mm -hmm. and and you've you've been able to provide that outlet for them Correct. to play the violin. I think Mikey said he wants to learn to play the banjo, I want to learn the so banjo. he can wear short shorts and act like he's in deliverance. Hundred percent, hundred percent. And and y'all would be able to facilitate that. Oh, absolutely. Well, I get you going real mm -hmm. fast. Yeah. You know, and and you have to work around um, certain mobility issues because yeah. I've worked with people who uh, say they can't use one side of their body okay um, say they're missing digits yeah so that's when you take a tuning you take the guitar mm -hmm. and you down tune it say to drop D yeah and then all you have to do is just fret one yeah. fret yeah. at a time and you're playing deep purple so you, you know? basically you basically take uh, use accommodations for people's specific right. disabilities for each guy because everybody's Correct. different Correct. Yeah. so you guys will like implement those accommodations to actually help the veteran absolutely so that's yeah. awesome, that's, man. Yeah. that's extremely interesting to me because I think you you know, we, I, I'm, I'm a crappy musician. First off, like I dabble in ah. playing guitar and I dabble in playing piano. Like dabble, meaning like I just I kind of screw around on it when nobody else is around. Sure. Um, but you think as a musician, like surely all the songs that could ever have been written have been written by now. But right. the way that. There's always new stuff coming out, but the way that y'all are doing it, there's going to be even more innovations because people are having to adapt in such non-traditional ways. Right. You know, we got, like we got Ola watching from Sweden. Yeah, we got like Ola. Welcome to the show, Ola, thank man. You, Ola, thank you, from thank Sweden. you. Check it out, man. Yeah. Get, get on the the Facebook page and check these exactly. guys out. And that's that's what gets me is bring like you know, the, bring it to you Europe. Can, you can play everything the traditional way, right, right. with two hands. Correct. But now you have guys that you know, like you said, are missing digits or right. they're they they don't have a way to play with one side of their body. And the type of music that they'll create will be one hundred percent entirely different from anything else that Correct. we've probably seen before because we've never had that kind of outreach right. uh, in previous generations. I mean, Revolutionary mm -hmm. War <laughs> veterans weren't <laughs> learning to play yeah. the piano with their missing digits after a you know sure. musket blew their hand off. Yeah, right. You know, they weren't doing that. I mean, maybe some of them were, but they didn't write about it. And you yeah, know, we that's, don't know about it. That's like, that's a great thing about the internet. Everything's everything's logged it's right but, there, man. Right. It's right there. Um, <laughs> but that interests me because from a creative standpoint, you know, you think we're in this nice little box of creativity that only so many things can happen because of the mathematic probabilities and combinations of music. Right. But then you do it that way and it just blows the lid off of it. Right. Correct. That's uh, insane. Like one hand, uh, you're going to have to use techniques like hammer-ons and pull-offs yeah. and slide up to the note. Yeah. So sure. Because you, you can't strum with this Exactly. Side. Yeah. And I think gotta... blues will be really cool with those playing with the, uh, the slide. Yes. Like imagine that. Like oh, the kind of blues that, that would come awesome. out of that. That would be, oh man. And literally, I can get your rhythm. That's mm -hmm. one of the first things I teach is the rhythm and blues, you know? Yeah. And I can get them going same day, same day. Same day. If you, if you want to learn, I can teach you real fast. And that's, See, that's and the awesome, other great man. thing about it that, that I think is that, like a lot of these things that we've seen, is it's teaching people a skill. Like these people can learn 
and then they can go out and teach others. Right. They can they can be self sufficient, yes. independent. Once they learn enough, hey, I can teach beginning guitar, right. yep. and I can do that. Like even if they have you know enough, let's say they're a, a, an amputee and they have enough disability to live comfortably, but they want to do something. Sure. Right? They want to be proactive. They want to still make some extra income. Hey, I can teach guitar now. Yes. And now they're not only are they independent of their uh, VA stipend that they get, but they're doing something that helps others as well. Right. And that's I think right. that's a big. I think that's a big thing that we're 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 missing in the community is things that that give us purpose. Well, that's, you it's know? also given you guys like you know it's 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 a win for you guys when someone gets to that self sustaining point in their life or like this mm-hmm. music or there's this newfound skill that you guys help bring them. Mm-hmm. You know they're never going to forget that. Right. You know what I mean, and that's something. That's something that's just that's so much value in that. Well, I mean, know? that, that right. kind of brings in like how I got involved. With it. Mm-hmm. You know, I was still active duty. You know, I was uh, going to my behavioral health appointments, you know, mm-hmm. dealing with PTSD. And when I was talking to my therapist, they would say, "Well, well, where's your happy medium?" Mm-hmm. And I said, "Well, I play drums. It's it's yeah. my escape." Yeah. And they said, "Have you heard about this music program that's at Fort Sam?" And I said, "No." And they said, "Well, I want you to go in there and check this out." So. I did, and mm. that's where I met him the first time. Yeah. And I sat in the back of the room because I'm a drummer. They were teaching guitar. Yeah. Afterwards, him and I talked, and he's like, well, hell, I'll work with you. He said, won't you come over this weekend, and we'll see what we can do. Mm-hmm. And and we've been at it ever since. And now we write music. And, uh, and music. Unfortunately, you got, you got to deal with a drummer. Yeah. But we all know exactly. how exhausting at least he doesn't is. have to. At least yeah. he doesn't <laughs> have to deal with a bass player. But, but the cool thing Do we about even the need bass players is, anymore? If you can play guitar, we got the, 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 the cool thing about the program is the money that we raise – you know, for for the guys that are here undergoing their treatments, whether it's surgery, whether mm-hmm. it's, you know, behavioral health. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we consider that a transitional period because eventually, you know, they're going to get out of the military and go back yeah. to wherever home is. Mm-hmm. So we teach them while they're here. We also raise money to help them continue lessons wherever they go. Nice. So don't think that, you know, the ride's over just because you're out of the military. Mm-hmm. No, if you go back to your state and you tell us, hey, I want to continue lessons because mm-hmm. it helps me. Yeah. We will search and we will find you a music instructor in your area that's going to help you learn and help you keep up with the fight. So, like, yeah. for instance, if there's a guy here who's from New Jersey. Right. And he's, like, you know, recovering here at Bamsey in San Antonio. And mm-hmm. then, like, he's like, hey, I really want to continue this. You guys will find something at, like, Fort Dix or something like that. You guys, mm-hmm. if there's a program well, Fort there. Fort Dix or, or in his community, we will yeah. search and we will find an instructor that... that has the time and is willing to help him out. That's you know, awesome, right? you know what I, I found really interesting though is the fact that you said that your behavioral health appointments suggested this to you. It's very yeah. difficult, I think, in the the bureaucracy with with all the nonprofits that are out, with all the different types of therapy that are out, to have somebody that's in the official system legitimately go, "Hey, you need to check out this program." Right. Mm-hmm. Like to get in on that level, I, I, I think it's extremely difficult to do because you don't see a lot of uh, uh, nonprofits getting in on that level where the powers that be are strongly advocating for their patients to go there. And for y'all to get in on that level, it speaks to the the efficacy of of what you're doing. Right. Sure. Like Correct. like we said, music touches everybody, right. and so with this with this type of I guess therapy that y'all are providing this additional uh, kind of add-on therapy in addition to your behavioral health and whatever really touches everyone or has the potential to. And see, that's the thing. We're not we're not actually music therapy. Mm-hmm. We just provide the musicians to help with yeah. the music therapy, uh, with the therapist, with the occupational therapist. Yeah. So me, myself, you know, I wasn't able to go to college. You know, I mm-hmm. just know how to play guitar. To be able to work alongside doctors to help mm-hmm. heal people, that's I a never big deal. ever thought that would yeah. happen to me in my life. And look where we are. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it, it's definitely something to look into. Warrior Cry Music Project. Warrior um, Cry Music. Go, go and yeah. like us. Yeah, guys, you know, go ahead and like the page. Word of mouth. Yeah, word absolutely. of mouth matters because yeah. that's where it comes from. You oh. know, you could you could promote it all day. And I see McDonald's on the on the uh, highway. Am I going to stop there? Probably not. But you know what? I I, I know about it. It's so planting the seed. We it's planting the seed this. because someday somebody will want this kind of help. They'll want this type of outreach. Yes. And they'll be like, you know what? I think one time I saw his warrior cry something something, and they'll go search it and they'll find. They're like, that's what it is. And then they'll find you and they'll get the help that they need. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And another cool thing that we recently just started. So. Warrior Cry initially was driven towards, you know, military, Mm -hmm. you know, veterans. Uh, Here lately, we kind of started a test project where we started expanding out to 
local law enforcement. Nice. Because a lot of their officers, you know, a lot mm-hmm. of their officers, you know, with what they deal with day in and day out. Sure. Yeah. They have their stresses, you mm-hmm. know, they get injured the same as we do. Yeah. And so we expanded the offer to them too. Yeah. Impressive. A lot, of, a lot of people always forget about local law enforcement and mm-hmm. law enforcement in general is they have to bounce back a lot yeah. faster than us sometimes too. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, like I, it's like you gotta go back to work. I mean, like, like soon. When know? I was a volunteer so, firefighter, like we would yeah. respond to a scene that night and then like volunteers especially that's all I know. I wasn't a paid firefighter, but like we'd respond to a scene late at night and then I was back in college the next morning taking a test. Yeah, like right. imagine yeah. that. Imagine walking into a burning building and then six hours later you're having to take a, a test for your or college degree. Or terrible. Sport, you know? yeah. yeah, and seeing the, the terrible things there. And so like that's really amazing. Something else I wanted to point out that you guys were telling us about. Uh, maybe I, I hope I'm not ruining the surprise here, but this is a pretty cool thing. Yeah. Um, PFC uh, Glendon Oakley. Yeah. A hero, yeah, right? We, we we talked about him on Monday. We show did. We quite did. A bit, uh, just a, a, and I did a little bit more research. Badass of the week. I yeah, did a little bit us. more research on 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 the actions that he took. Yeah. Right. So for those of you guys that don't know, during the shooting in El Paso, PFC Glendon Oakley was at a neighboring store uh, in the vicinity, and he heard the shots ring out. And and even though he was armed, what he chose to do was he chose to corral kids and grab kids and get them to a safe spot. And I think the cool thing about that is, is he could have gone in and engaged a shooter. He could have, but he had something that he could do right then and there that would have made an immediate and impactful difference in those kids' lives. And he did it. So for that, I know he doesn't want to be called a hero after watching his interview. I know he doesn't want to be called a hero, but as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Still Absolute, a hero, bud. Absolute right. hero. hero. And you guys You're are pointing on... too, right? Where'd you, you, he was with First Armored. I was with yeah, First Armored. Yeah, he was so with First Armored. So, hey, making you guys proud, too. right? Yeah. yeah. So everybody that's, everybody that's watching that's from First Armored, share this out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Zing, got you. Zing, got you. Yeah, we messaged the board, and yeah. uh, we're waiting on a reply back, but we feel really confident that we'll be able to go out there. And we got to remind him, like, mm-hmm. he's definitely a perfect candidate for the program. You know, yeah. come over, come jam with us. Um, if you need to talk, that's one thing that happens too. Because when you're chilling out, you got your guitar. Sometimes mm-hmm. she starts talking, and you're just strumming. But yeah, it does really. And that's when opens the, you up. And that's when the yeah, it opens you up, and that's when the honesty starts to flow. When you're right. in that, you feel comfortable doing whatever it is. Right. You know, just jamming with your friends. Some of the best conversations I've had is me playing really bad guitar and just talking right. with my friends. I remember on a personal note, I uh, when I was in 2004 in, yeah. in Kuwait, I bought a crappy little acoustic guitar from the bazaar there awesome. and I carried it with me all the way through Fallujah during Phantom Fury and everything and I still have it it's still got I, remember, oh, I, think, yeah. I think it still has bring it in. I think it still has I rack dust on it it's terrible yeah. like it you sounds bring terrible it and all this but it worked for what we needed you yeah. know yeah. and just I remember you know after a long week or like when we would have our day of rest when we would go back to uh, the rear back to Camp Fallujah uh, me and a couple other guys, we would sit around a campfire or sit around, like, you know, in a smoke pit or something. And I would have that guitar. And just being able to sit there and strum a little bit and pass it around between the boys, it was such a positive, you know, yeah. impact on, like, helping us decompress for that, you know, because we were in yes. the middle of the biggest urban assault since Way City, Vietnam. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, so it was very, very, you know, very high stress environment. And I remember that little bit of normality coming in and just bringing us down to zero. You know, and helping us reset a little yes. bit, and it was just such a big thing. And to have a program like that available to veterans nationally yes. is huge, man. So I'm, well, as soon as you guys told me about it at, at the social, I, I was like, man, I got, I got to let people know about this thing. Awesome. This is Thank so you. cool because it's just, it, it's I've been there, and I, I can speak on that from experience that music really does help. It's so you guys are doing big things, and I think the fact that you know. The fact that you're just doing it just to do it, like there's that there's no profit involved, and that it's just you know you're just there to help, it how makes can, it even better. How yes. can how can people get involved? I know you guys have a Facebook page. Do you have a website where people can go to donate or get involved? Sure. What, what's what is it? www.warriorcrymusicproject.com. Um, it's actually Warrior. warriorcry.org. Warriorcry.org. Warriorcry. Right. Yeah. Let me you're let me put that there. in the comments for everybody. Warrior. Warrior Cry Music Project is the uh, Facebook page. So okay. um, if yeah, you want to get it tagged in that pin comment, keep up to date with us. That's mm-hmm. where we'll be. And y'all also have a band, us. correct? Yeah, 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 we do. Yeah, so, one for the fallen. Yeah, yeah. one, one for the, the one for the fallen. That's the so, shirt. So cool, uh, is that a is that a separate Facebook page too? Yeah, one, one for the, for the Fallen's its own separate Facebook page. Um, it was established to you know kind of get the message of Warrior Cry out there. Yeah. 
Um, and it's kind of a testament to what the program does. Again, you know, we started, he wanted to do something, and this shows that it's possible. Of course possible. the drummer did. The yeah. drummer always wants to start yeah. a band. Let's start a band, bro. We sound good. No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so is the drummer. I I we gotta have a drum. I do want to go. Did I get the right page? It's uh, Alex Slim is the lead guitar. No. No, nope. no man. No, you gotta look the for the that logo. Page. Um, it's the wrong page. That, yeah, there's, well, a, there's went, a one for went, the Fallen in Europe or something. I went and ah, checked you guys out. Okay. Uh, I checked out one for the Fallen after we mm. had spoke, and mm. I went and listened. And uh, you guys put out some quality music. Man. Are they on I, iTunes? Thank you. They are on iTunes. They're on yeah. iTunes, guys. Um, Check them out. One for the Fallen on iTunes. iTunes, Google Play, Google Amazon. Play, yeah, Amazon. That's why I, I got you on, on Amazon because I'm cheap. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate. Use my wife's account. <laughs> and, yeah, we're currently in the studio working on new songs. Yeah. Um, we're looking forward to um, the end of the year where we'll probably start, you know, letting guys like you hear it before okay. the sure. public. Nice. And, yeah, man. Nice. And, Absolutely. Um, uh, another thing that we do, we don't only focus on um, just the music program. We try to help mm -hmm. out with the community as well. Yeah. Um, you know, on base, there was some like shady stuff happened with the lady that was in charge of the uh, nonprofit activities. Yeah. So we weren't able to, we, we used to go and give guitars to the guy's mm -hmm. bedside, you know, and then she pulled her business and yeah, they, they stopped all activity mm -hmm. on base, right? So we're like, we got to do so something. So we got to ruin it. Why, do, the, why yeah. do people got to ruin something They do. Good? Yeah. Like, they do. Something so good, there's always so pure. One. Yeah. There's greedy, always one. That's the rule of the universe. Right. Is there's always there's one so, to screw up something and, good for everybody else. That's where we found the uh, American GI Forum. Okay. So and we started a program over there. So mm -hmm. I mean, we don't really care if uh, you DD 214. Uh, we don't care why you got out of the military, okay. how you left the military, because you know, the, regardless of discharge status, y'all. Correct. You know, we're here for you. And nice. um, uh, the ladies and gentlemen over at the GI Forum, you know, we did a, a rummage and a food drive for well, them actually, for, for that for Christmas. For people that don't know, the American GI Forum is the homeless veteran shelter here in San Antonio. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's and awesome. They, they house 150 homeless veterans throughout the uh, year. So um, they've always got people coming in, going mm -hmm. out. So if there's something you can do to help out the GI form as well, you yeah. know, we're there. We teach them. See, I love that unselfishness too. Like mm -hmm. so many, there's so many 5013Cs that are fighting right. for dimes, fighting for sure. support, uh, fighting for donations. And here you guys are, 5013C, yep. and you're pushing another 5013C because you recognize the value there. Correct. That's that's something I love about this organization is y'all are so unselfish. You don't care as long as people get the help they yeah. need. Whatever the help they need, you know, if it's you guys to the music program, great. If it's to solve the homelessness issue first, mm -hmm. solve that. You yep. guys don't care as long as people are getting right. the right help. And I think that's a really beautiful thing. And one thing is, you know, we, we you know, wholeheartedly care about the veteran. Yeah. Okay, so, the for example, the first year we went to the American GI Forum, mm -hmm. you know, we did – we put together toiletry bags for them, you know, soap, yeah, shampoo, sure. toothbrush, toothpaste. You know, we did a clothing drive. We had people from Dallas donating clothes and driving mm -hmm. them down in a trailer. Yeah. You know, we had a food bank donate a month's worth of food mm -hmm. to these guys in shelter because it's all donation run. Yeah. So, so, so the first year we were there, it, it was, it broke my heart, man. So these guys sit down and have their Christmas meal. What do they get? They got a burger patty with two slices of bread. Yeah, so him and I talked afterwards because I was pretty upset. I was like, you know, this can't happen. It's got to be better yeah. next year. So the next year, we spent money out of our own pockets. Mm -hmm. sure. Actually, for the last two years, we spent money out of our own pockets to provide a Christmas meal for these guys. Nice. So every year, we've gone out, we've bought, you know, uh, the pork loins, we've bought chicken, we mm -hmm. barbecued the day before on Christmas Eve, prepared everything, and we'd go down there on Christmas morning to make sure if these guys had an honest Christmas meal. That's and amazing. It got attention last year from another nonprofit, mm -hmm. the San Antonio Hispanic Police Officers Organization, uh -huh. uh, which is another uh, 5013C. Yeah. And they want to partner with Warrior Cry this year because they want to buy the Christmas meal for these veterans. That's awesome. So that's it's it's amazing what cool, you man. you know. There's a saying we we did we did a little thing with uh, some guys that that made this help us make this flag. Uh, and he, he coined a phrase that I really like. He said, it's easy to make a difference if you just give a shit a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's easy bit. to make a difference if yeah. you just give a shit a little bit. And, and, that's, and, and, and you don't that's have the thing. to try you to, just, like, save the world. No. You yeah. Know, you just, you know, take your piece of the pie and give give a shit about that. You know? Exactly. And people, uh, you'd be surprised how many like-minded individuals yeah. there really are out there mm -hmm. that, that are willing to go and be like, you know what? I love that. 
let's help these guys out. Exactly. You know, and and I, I said it before the show. We're very very fortunate to be here in San Antonio too. San Antonio, San Antonio. is is it's, just such a a veteran centric uh, and friendly community. Yep. And every there's so many good great organizations that we've got Absolutely. to highlight. Yeah. And everything and and uh, so I would love to see. Um, like like more collaboration, like what you guys are talking about, mm-hmm. like yeah. like for Christmas meals or for anything, really. Sure. You know what I mean? Between some of these awesome organizations, man, because tools to the toolbox, exactly. You know? But that doesn't right. just go for those that's benefiting; it goes for the guys who are doing the work too. Yeah. You know, yes. tools for the toolbox, man. Right? In so, my opinion, it's it's like combined arms, right? Like the 100%. tanks can do something that the grunts can't do. Magtaff it, man. Yeah, magtaff it, dude. Yeah, the, you know, the air wing can do stuff that grunts can't do. Like sure. I'm not. Even as a you know being phased out fifty one, I can't drop a five hundred pound you know J dam on some building that we're trying to get into. <laughs> but you get, but guess what? An F eighteen with the wing can do it. Yep. Yeah. More power to you. Yeah. I don't want to get blown up as I'm making an entrance into the building. Like, Thanks, drop, fellas. Drop that bomb. <laughs> drop that bomb, man. Yeah. And so the same way, man. Y'all, y'all have a very unique, very niche uh, uh, skill set. Right. Y'all use that to your full um, uh, uh, capacity, to your full potential. Then another mm-hmm. one comes in, like the organization you were talking about, the the National Hispanic Police Officers Association, right? Uh, San, San, Antonio. San Antonio. Or, San Antonio. It's San, Antonio. San Antonio. My bad. Yeah. A little, little TBI local. every once in a yeah, while. Yeah. Um, That's all right. But but they have they have their resources and you guys have your resources right. and together you're making that big push. Yeah. Because guys, it touched them so much last yeah, year. That's, that's awesome. That's amazing. Guys that's we we have Warrior Cry Music Project. They're also the band uh, one for the Fallen. Check them out if it's if it's the metal band from Sweden. Don't I mean you can like them, but go like them also. Uh, <laughs> just check them out on game. iTunes, <laughs> Amazon, Google Play, yeah. all of that. Check them out. They're doing a good thing. They deserve your support. I uh, I gotta I'm, I'm gonna sign off for three weeks. Um, I'm not gonna be here um, but I will Monday. Be. Mikey's gonna be running the show come Monday with Good a luck. with a new co-host, <laughs> and uh, we can't wait to see you guys on Monday on the on the show. And then Thursday will be Mikey again. I won't be back till September. I got some other stuff. Doing big uh, things, man. Yeah, Doing well, things. yeah I'll try. I'll, I'll yeah. try and see if I can Skype you guys while I'm on the boat. That'll be fun. Nice. Uh, <laughs> you know, Skype nice. into the show or whatever. But guys. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting. Uh, thank you, War Cry Music, yeah, for coming yeah, out here, yeah, man. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Thank like, you, guys. Time. You guys are doing such good stuff, man. And we're, we're just proud to know you and anything we, we are. can do to help, man. We're all about it. So awesome, thank you exactly, so much. guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you all so much. We'll see you. Well, I won't see you till September, but I'll Mike, see you'll you see Monday. you Monday. You guys have a good uh, afternoon. We'll see you later. Have a good Thanks, one. Guys.